Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the filter method to extract data from an array. Another useful array function is array.prototype.filter, or simply filter. Filter calls a function on each element of an array and returns a new array containing only the elements of which that function returns true. In other words, if the filter if filters oh, if in other words it filters the array based on the function passed to it. Like map, it does this uh, without uh, needing to modify the original array. The callback function accepts three arguments. The first argument is the current element being processed. The second is the index of that element, and the third is the array upon which the filter method was, was called. Please see below for an example using the filter method on the user's array to return a new array containing only the users under the age of 30. For simplicity, the examples only use the first argument of the callback. <clears throat> so here we have a list of users. Uh, one's over 30, one's 20, and one's 10. It's John, Amy, and CamperCat. So we're setting users under 30 is equal to users.filter, and then we set the user equal to a variable called user, and then uh, uh, we use ES6 to say inside the function, if the user.age is less than 30, that which returns true or false, um, if that is true, then the um, it saves it to the array and so users under 30 in this in this array where two of the objects pass that the um, users under 30 could turn out to be Amy age 20 so it, pa it saves the entire value of the data and um, Kemper cat age 10 and whereas John has been left out because John's 34 and so when 30 when user dot age for John's initial age it renders to 34 because this renders false his object is not passed into the array but for the everyone else, the user.age renders true. It's less than 30. Tw is 20 less than 30? Yes. So it renders true. So Amy gets passed in and saved in the array. Uh, the variable watch list holds an array of objects with information on several movies. Use a combination of filter and map on watch list to assign a new array of objects with only title and rating keys. The new array should only include objects where IMDB rating is greater than or equal to eight. Note that the rating values are saved as strings in the object, and you may need to convert them into numbers to perform mathematical operations on them. Okay, so we've got our watch list. It's the same that we've had in the last few lessons. And then here we just wanna create a filtered list. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is filtering and then doing, I think we're gonna do the same map thing as well. Um, so let's see if we map it out first, we'll have easier data to work with. So let's make the filter list equal to my, uh, watch list. Is that right? Watch list. We'll make it equal to watch list, um, dot map. And then I'm going to do this first off just in old school JavaScript, and then we'll move on to doing it. I'll show you, I'll refactor it later into ES6, um, so yeah, watch list dot map. And then, so with here, we're going to say each individual movie. Um, each individual movie. Now I use long variable names because I think long variable names make the make code easier to understand um, what's going on. So first off, we want to return, well, what do we want to return? With each, we're going to map through this first. So what we want to do, this is the exact same thing that we did in the last lesson. We're going to create a uh, refined we need to say let refined data equal an object. Um, uh, refined movie data. I think that's more explicit. Uh, so refined uh, movie data. Uh, and then we want it to be the title with a lowercase t is equal to <clears throat> um, the individual movie. Um, dot title and why do I use a capital T because uh, the title here is assigned to capital T because I'm saying each individual movie and then dot title so we're get, pulling the individual parts out of here um, I use bracket notation here I should use uh, dot notation across all of this to be consistent it makes your code more readable and then we return the uh, individual or the refined movie data and so now we're returning a title, but obviously, well, here we have the title, but we don't have the rating. Um, we want to return 
a title and the rating. So we'll go uh, refined movie data dot rating is equal to individual uh, movie dot um, IMDB rating. So this guy, individual movie. Cool, so now we're passing this all in. But what we're trying to do is filter out any um, movies that don't have a rating above eight. So we actually don't want this avatar in there. This is what's causing our error. This, this would cause us to not pass this test because avatar is not in here. Just Batman Begins would be. And so how do we filter out that? Well, we can come here. We've completed our map function, and that's passing. That's cl uh, cleaning up our data. And then we can say dot filter. Um, and then let's use as like I said, we'll um, refactor later. We'll use this original uh, JavaScript. And then I'm going to say individual movie again. And then what we want to say is uh, if the individual movie individual movie dot um, rating okay let's say uh, individual movie rating let's say let individual movie rating but we want to set this equal to uh, so rating integer because what right now the individual movie rating is being passed in if we were to console log this rating integer what we're get, what we're doing is we're getting each of these, but the integer, but it's not an integer. If we were to go to the type of, we're getting a string, string, string. Now you can't add strings. You can't make uh, conditional statements from them. So what we need to do is convert this string into an integer, right? So we're going to say um, parse int. Now this passes in, but this doesn't work necessarily because we want it to be less than or equal to eight. Um, so, well, this would work, but I think it makes more sense to say parse uh, float. But this does work. If we were to go uh, type of now, we're going to see these are numbers, so we could do mathematical conditional statements on them. But let's make it parse float, and that way we get the floating integers, which I think is more useful. And so now, oh, we should do this up here on the actual uh, rating integer. So now our rating integer, if we go type of, we should get number. And so now we can do conditional statements on it. So our rating integer. So I'm just gonna take this and put it in here. Command uh, and the uh, question mark slash backslash key to uncomment. So if rating integer is greater than or equal to 8.0, uh, then we can return, then we return, what do we return? Not the rating integer, but we want to return the, the individual movie. And uh, we can get rid of this console log now. And so now we're, we've got an array and it doesn't have that last element in it because it's not returning that. So I think if we run the test, that'll, that should pass. Okay, cool. Um, so I hope that this, this makes sense. I tried to go through it as slowly and um, as focused as possible. Let's say we wanted to use ES6 instead of this um, longer, old, older school JavaScript. We get rid of this function and we can call individual movie like this. This will still work. So same thing here. We can do the ES6 and use arrow functions to clean the code up a little bit. Um, Let's see, we could do a single line if statement here. Um, how do you do that? Single line JavaScript. Single line if statements. If lemons, okay, so I think we could go if rating integer return individual movie. Cool, that would actually get us a little bit um, more uh, succinct code. Uh, we could do this 
instead of saying individual rating integer, that gets us even less lines of code, though I think this becomes more difficult to read. I personally would rather do it like this. Uh, I would rather leave it here because I like being able to read uh, my code. Um, and so, yeah. Anyways, I think this passes the test and that gives you an idea for how it works. Hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.